Hey guys, today I'm out in one of Wake Forest's top selling master plan communities to ever break ground here. I'm gonna show you guys one of the newest neighborhoods within this community that's got incredible Lakeview lots, luxury townhomes that are gonna shock you when you find out what the prices are. Stick with me because we're about to check it out right now. Okay guys, today I'm back over in the Raleigh suburb of Wake Forest where we're going to check out one of the top master plan communities to come to Wake Forest in quite a while, Holding Village North. Holding Village North is phase two of the overall Holding Village community. What we're going to take a look at today are the brand new townhomes that are being built by TriPoint Homes. Guys, these things are incredible. These are luxury townhomes many of which are gonna have a lake view of the 15 acre on-site lake over here, where there's tons of trails. There's also uh, piers that are over here where you can go fishing, tons of activities. It's right next to the amenity center, play area. So guys, this is amazing. Let's go check it out. So over here in this new section of Holding Village North, which is gonna be referred to as Holding Village Lakeside, they're currently building 33 luxury townhomes that are gonna go from about 2,100 square feet all the way up to over 2,300 square feet. They're gonna have options out here for three to four bedrooms, three baths. There's about 10 lots over here that are gonna face directly to the lake, the 15 acre lake that I was referring to earlier. Those are obviously gonna be some of the most sought after lots over here. However, one thing that you're going to want to know is all these townhomes are going to be located directly next to the amenity center. Over here at Holding Village Lakeside, you're in an absolutely perfect location. This is what I described as being the absolute geographic center of all of Wake Forest. You're directly next door to downtown Wake Forest with all the shops, restaurants, there's a bowling alley over there, tons of activities. You're going to be very convenient to literally everything in Wake Forest. All the three major shopping centers in town are all within a 10 to 15 minute drive of the community. Another really cool thing about Holding Village Lakeside is the fact that you're literally directly next door to everything within the Heritage Master Plan community. Which if you know anything about Wake Forest and you've probably heard quite a bit about Heritage, it's absolutely one of the top ranked master plan communities to ever come to the Raleigh area. Living in Heritage is literally like living within a self-contained community. Over there, you're gonna have access to not one, not two, but three shopping centers. Pretty much anything you can think of, you're gonna find it literally almost within walking distance next door. Okay guys, right now I'm over here at what I would consider to be the absolute premium lots within this brand new section of Holding Village. These are where you're gonna find about 10 units that are gonna face directly to the lake. As you can see, these are a little ways out from being finished. However, you're gonna be able to get the initial phase of this lakeside section opening about first week or two of September. So by the time you're watching this, they may have already become available. When I call these luxury, I'm not just using the term loosely. These truly are luxury townhomes. These homes come with some really awesome features. Party plank siding. They've also got fiberglass front doors, which is gonna save you a lot on energy. You're also gonna get some pretty decent sized two car garages in here. So guys, just to give you a point of reference of the lay of the land out here, over here is the lakeside community and then Directly behind me, adjacent, is the amenity center. So it's all within easy walking distance. You're gonna have really close access to the walking trail as well. Speaking of the walking trail, here's a quick look. It encircles the entire lake, 15 acre lake. Hey, real quick guys, I would really appreciate it if you take half a second and hit the like button below. It would really help me and my channel out immensely. And I would really appreciate it. Thanks guys. Okay guys, check this out. You're in for a treat because you're gonna be one of the very first people to actually see one of these luxury townhome units. Right now I'm stepping inside off the gorgeous porch area. We've got a very open concept in here. Check out the hardwood flooring. 
This is about a six inch hardwood in here. I really love what they've done with the kitchen island. This is really unique. Then there's some really cool backsplash in here. Farm style sink. Stainless steel appliances. Direct vent. You've got a built-in oven with microwave. Hey guys, for a townhome of this size, 2,100, 2,200 square feet, there's actually a pretty decent sized kitchen pantry in here. And I really love the fact that it's all wooden shelving and there's a lot of light coming in here. Check out this really cool fireplace with built-ins on both sides with floating shelving. Okay guys, let's make our way upstairs. Again, hardwood stairs going up to the third floor. Third floor, we've got some really nice suburban carpeting. You're gonna first come up to a third floor laundry room. And then adjacent to the laundry room, you're gonna have two decent sized secondary bedrooms. I really love what they've done with the accented wood paneling in here. Then here is another secondary bedroom. This is an end unit. So in the end units, you're obviously gonna have a little bit more light. Now entering the upstairs secondary full bath. It's got undermount sinks, dual vanity, pretty decent shower. Okay guys, now we're in for a real treat. We're walking into the third story owner suite, which has this really cool lighting fixture. And you're gonna have some wallpaper. I'm not a fan of wallpaper. It brings back bad memories from the 70s, but the wallpaper in here is really cool. This particular unit is directly facing South Franklin Street, which will get you into downtown Wake Forest in literally maybe two minutes. There's only one stoplight. So you're gonna be directly on the street here, which isn't bad because these are pretty well built. There's really not a lot of sound coming in from the street. Okay guys, check this out, the owner suite bath. Guys, look at the tile in here. This is some really cool slate tile. Again in here, you've got undermount sinks, dual vanity, really large. Walking into the walk-in closet, it's pretty decent size. Not huge, I mean, it's not massive. You're not gonna land any airplanes in here. They got some nice wooden shelving in here. It's not the wire low end stuff. Pretty decent. I really like what they've done with the bath in here. Beautiful tile work. Some nice storage areas for soap and toiletries and that type of thing. And then in front here, we've got a private water closet. Stepping into the unit from the main front entrance, you're gonna come into this pretty roomy foyer area, which is gonna lead to this small drop zone area that's gonna go into the two car garage. Directly next to the two car garage in the foyer area, you're gonna walk into a huge downstairs guest suite. This is really big. This is rivaling the size of the owner suite on the third level. Check this out. I really love the intricate woodwork in here. It's kind of got that beadboard style. Pretty large closet. This would make a great guest room or maybe even an in-law suite. Located directly next to this bedroom is a full bath. Beautiful tile work in here, guys. Walk-in shower, single vanity, undermount sink. Hey guys, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the Raleigh area and you feel like it might make some sense to get help from someone who's not only sold quite a few Raleigh area homes, but from someone who's also a bona fide Raleigh area native, then definitely give me a call, text, email. I've helped tons of others just like yourself who decided that the smart move was to get Mike and get moved.